There we go. Hello and welcome to another podcast. Welcome to a new year. Uh, I can't hear properly and I have the cold. Haven't spoken to you since last year and all that jazz. Everyone always says that those jokes are really bad, but I kind of I kind of get a kick out of it. Everyone says they're really bad, but everyone still says them. Yeah. That's... I love the see you next year on like New Year's Eve. Yeah. It's good crack. Anyway, hope you're well. Hope I like you're... going to the toilet just before New Year and then just sort of being like, oh, I've been in the toilet since last year. Uh, I like or like take a sip of something or like take a drink of something. Be like been drinking since last year. Yeah, no, I like the oh haven't had a drink since last year. Haven't been to the toilet since last year. Yeah, haven't been to bed since last year. Um, but yeah, hope you're well. Hope you are getting on well in this new year of funsies. Funsies. Twenty nineteen. Who'd have thought we'd make it this far? <laughs> Past me, definitely didn't think we'd make it this far. <laughs> Uh, with uh, the whole Donald Trump thing uh, past me wasn't uh, wasn't wasn't the overly optimistic. Okay, really. twenty twelve me what well, wasn't well no twenty twelve me wasn't convinced that the world was going to end in twenty twelve. Sort of taking the mic. Yeah. yeah, but yeah, so that's it uh, over for another year. So Northern Irish phrase of the week is it? I don't know. Is that is is it a Northern Irish thing or is that I just know. a thing? Like? Well, that's that for another year. That's that over for another year. Oh, the house looks wild bare now. So it does with the tree down. <laughs> just looks wild bare, doesn't it? <laughs> I think it's just one of those things you have to say. Yeah. Because like, I mean, like it's been up for like a month. What the tree? Yeah. Like, if even a month, and it still looks bare without it. It still looks strange. When do you have to have your decorations down? Because mum told me it was the 6th of January but some people take theirs down on Boxing Day. I think like between Boxing Day and the 6th of January. I think 6th of January is like the cut I think point. Boxing Day is really early. Yeah that's just like I think that's a wee bit cutting tricky. it off. Yeah. I think sort of New Year's Day to maybe the 6th, the 6th yeah. slash whatever weekend is sort of a week after New Year. Yeah. I think that's sort of... What about Christmas jumpers? Do they just stop on Boxing Day? I think they're okay until I New think they're Year's okay until New Year, yeah. And then I think the 2nd of January, gone. Yeah. Can't do it. Christmas socks are alright as long as no one I wear really Christmas socks them. all year round. Like, yeah. I just put whatever socks come out of the drawer. It's not as if I have, What about like, Christmas songs? Christmas music? I listen to that all year round too. I was just listening to Mariah Carey in July last year. I mean, it is a good tune. Uh, I'm just going to put out a Snapchat and a tweet here. Um, I already put out a Snapchat. Okay, I'm just gonna... Just on my personal Snapchat. We do have a Skit Twin Snapchat, but I've forgotten the password, so we don't use it anymore. Yeah. Um, okay, I'll throw out a tweet here and see if anyone has any questions. Um, do you want to talk about Christmas movies or what we, what we did over Christmas? Yeah, okay, I'll talk about that. So, um, this will literally take me a minute. We got um, our turbo set up again. Um, we, got, we had to get uh, slick tyres or like hybrid bike tyres which are thinner than mountain bike tyres which is what we previously had on them which made the turbos really really loud um, which meant whenever we were on them you had to shout to each other to be heard um, but now they're like they're not super quiet but I mean you can hold a normal conversation without having to shout or raise your voice which is nice um, so now we don't have to go to the gym every day however it does mean that like if we do stay at home we can basically just do weights or turbos um, which it's is really hard to motivate yourself to do that sort of thing though. Yeah. <laughs> like the <laughs> so gym, you sort of go there and you're like, yeah, I can do lots of things. Yeah. But I'm still going to do the same things. I want to, I want to lift weights this year. I want to, I want to get more into more weights more, but also I don't know how to start. Yeah. Like squats and stuff. Is that what you mean? Yeah. Or even just like deadlifts, not necessarily squats because they're bad for your back. I have a bad back already. That could not be good. Well, um, like squats, it's easier to hurt your back. Deadlifts, it's easy enough to hurt your back too. But I think squats, you can use the squat press machines, which are easier on your yeah. back. Yeah. Although, never straighten your legs fully because that is no. horrifying. Oh, even just thinking about those videos makes me cringe. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we did that. Um, our brother came over and that was interesting. Uh, we went up to our <laughs> other brother's and <laughs> sister-in-law's house for New Year, which was nice. Um... I think it's it's a bit awkward. We went up to them for Christmas as well, and the our sister in law's like niece and nephew and all came, and then they opened their presents from family in the afternoon, and we were there for that, and it was just sort of awkwardly sitting there watching these two Wayans open 
about a hundred presents. Yeah, just, and like, just oh, oh, that's wow, really cool. Wow, yeah. yeah. Like we got them a wee present, but like they got like hundreds. Of, like I would Not say, I would like, say close to fifty. Yeah. Like just wee things, like wee things of like nail varnish and clothes and yeah. But still, like they had to open them, and then it was sort of like I didn't want to. I didn't want to leave. I felt it was a bit rude to leave, but at the same time, I was just so uncomfortable just sort yeah, of like, watching them. It was them. awkward. But anyway, uh, that's their tradition, and we're sort of yeah. pleased to be a part of yeah part of it. I think I don't want to sound sort of ungrateful and um. Happy. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know where like that sentence yeah. was going. <laughs> so um, yeah, we're doing a lot of well, we're going to be doing a lot of travelling this year. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully further than London. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like, um, uh, we're still doing the acting thing, which means we're going to London tomorrow. I'm already tired. Yeah, same. But I think also I've had the cold since Wednesday. I think, and we went to the gym Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And but now you've given the cold to me, so I'm going to feel, like, awful these two days travelling. Like, the gym really took it out of me. I think if I had sort of missed the gym for maybe two days or whatever, I think I'd be over it by now. Yeah. But I'm not. And it's it's not too bad, it's just sort of annoying. I'm going to feel really awkward if I have to cough on the plane, though, because I, like, that's one of my pet hates, is people coughing and spluttering on a plane. Bring tissues and cough into yeah. a tissue, I think that's better than... Because, like, the air is just circulated mm. on a plane, and... That's why you cough into a tissue yeah. or into your sleeve, like you bury your mouth in your sleeve. Yeah, like that's what I would do, but also at the same time, like, if I can't help it, I can't help it. Yeah. I know that any time I sneeze, I properly bury my feet, like my whole face in my sleeve. There was, I, I, usually, I usually do and that, I but apologize. there was, I kind of go, sorry. To no there was one time I sneezed on the plane and it properly snuck up on me and I swear I woke up everybody. Like it was during the day, it was like a sort of like a midday flight, but I sneezed and I scared the poo out of myself. <laughs> I scared the wee ladies beside me and I was just like, I am so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> just the big apologies. Um, but yeah, it's a wee bit sort of scary watching the news because uh, the train we get to our brother's house in well, London. Well, we sometimes get. We mostly get it. No, we normally go from Victoria. That one was from Waterloo. Okay, well still. Well, we sometimes get it and there was a stab and all that, so huh, that was a bit weird. And then in Derry. Weird. Weird. Well, not <laughs> scary. weird. Scary. <laughs> And then in Derry, so yeah, 2019 is wanting us to travel a lot. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> Trying to scare us off. Um, do you have any New Year's resolutions, Chloe? I already told you my New Year's resolutions. What? Well, one of them. To travel more? No, to start lifting weights. Oh yeah, yeah. More. Sorry, <laughs> yes. Gotcha. What's, do you have any? Um, mine is to do a new thing every month. What's your new thing for January? Uh, reading, reading more. Oh, you've already done that. Yeah. yeah. So um, I'm trying like, to think of one for February. I think it might be to start like doing different stuff at the gym. Like maybe February will be the month that I start doing squats and stuff. But I don't know. I'm gonna work it out whenever I get there. I sort of thought of it yesterday, and I was like, yeah, January reading. I'm I'm already doing that. And then like one month is gonna be I'm gonna focus more on music, um, like playing guitar and flute and maybe teach myself more piano and stuff. That's another one of my resolutions. Go to bed earlier. Get more sleep. We're doing, we're, we're okay. doing pretty. We're, yeah, <laughs> we're managing to get the bed before eleven, which is solid. And also to grade twice in karate. Yeah, so I mean they seem pretty pleased. Yeah, with us right now. So at the minute we're, we're we're on orange belt, aiming for green, and then from green it's to per, to per blue, 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 and then blue to brown. So hopefully by the end of twenty nineteen we should be blue belts ready to go to brown. So that's kind of hopeful yeah i mean the main thing we have to work on right now is our head kicks because we don't have strength or flexibility in it's just strength in your hip, hip muscles because yeah. like the muscles you use to like bring your leg up to kick like do a side kick um you don't you don't use them unless you're doing a side kick so yeah um i mean at the minute we're sort of like chest tight which isn't bad, but it just means we need a little bit more work on it. So, yeah. Do you have anything? Do you, do you want to ask sorry. that question? Um, no, we're saving the questions for the end. Okay, sorry. Um, but yeah, I think that's a good one to grade twice in karate. That's some good goals. I'd say it's more of a goal than a resolution. Um, but I mean, I suppose it sort of comes under the same Okay, then of... to work more at karate at home then. Yeah. 
do you, enough, yeah. Do you have any other resolutions? I sort of felt like I had quite a few there, but... Um... Well, it all sort of under, falls under the one resolution, yeah. as you said it, so... <laughs> that's true. Um, no, yeah, that's about it. I suppose sort of... No, just I feel job. like I've talked a lot so far, because you were should... like, oh yeah, do this, and then you were like replying to people on Twitter who uh, asked questions. Well, and that then... was why you were talking anyway, but... Um... I know, but I still feel like I talk too much. It's fine, <laughs> if you talk more in this podcast, it's totally cool. No, but I talked more in... I talk more in all of them, because you're in charge <laughs> of like the social media stuff and you can't talk and type at the same time. Yeah, well I can, but I just get distracted. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I get distracted. And now I've forgotten what I'm talking about. We didn't get to see very many Christmas films. Yeah. I got to see um, Home Alone 2. Most of Home Most Alone of 2. It, yeah. Some of Home Alone 2. We watched the old Charlie and the Chocolate Factory with... How do you say his name? Jeannie Wilder. Jeannie Wilder. Gene Wilder. Um, and he is just class. Yeah. The, the tunnel scene scares everybody. But I think even as a kid, I was kind of like, wow. Yeah, it almost and that ra- me. Yeah, rather than scared me. I don't think I had nightmares about it, but I think I was like, yeah, just, I just thought the colours were cool. <laughs> I don't necessarily, like, Willy Wonka, it's not Christmas, it's not a Christmas film though. No, no, I know, but okay. I was just no, thinking just, of films you said it, And then you were like, well, we, well, I watched this, and it's like, mm, okay, it's not Did a we Christ- talk about Mum watching The Greatest Showman in the no, last podcast? because that only happened last week. Oh, okay. Well, Mum watched The Greatest Showman, and she liked it. And I'm very pleased. I'm annoyed that Mary Poppins and Chitty Chitty Bang Bang are only put on at Christmas. We saw Chitty Chitty Bang Bang. Most of it. What, some, some of, of it. it. Like some an hour Chitty, of it. Yeah. Like the end of it. Yeah. The child catcher was weird. We googled the plot of that because I wanted to know during the song... What is it? You're my... No, no, that's a different one. Whenever they're like, you're my little choochie face. My choochie... That one. Um, I wanted to know why... They hear each why, other. Yeah, why he wanted to kill her um, and I, I ended up googling it and it was because she can't have children so that's why she sort of banished the children from the land and so because why should the peasants have something that she can't and then so she t- treats the baron as her child um, so he she sort of like like you can t- whenever you see the film you see that he kind of she kind of Bo- oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Um, and then it's also sort of because he's the Baron and the Baroness because they are Baron. baron. <gasps> um, and yeah, he wants to kill her because he wants kids and if he kills her then he can marry again, he can have children. Um, and she knows he's trying to kill her. No one else is interested. I'm just going to stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was interesting. Chitty, chitty, bang, okay. bang. Good film. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was interesting. Okay, guys. <laughs> Uh, we also went to see Mary Poppins Returns, which was, I thought it was quite good, but I think there was, I think they should have had a wee part for Julie Andrews. I like Julie Andrews. What? I've written the word here down, but I think spell check changed it, but I can't remember what spell check changed it from. Oh. And I'm just sort of staring at it, hoping that my brain will work and sort of be like, yes, this is what you were going to talk about. <laughs> I don't know. Um, that's okay. Oh, heating, I think. We have, we, ha- we oh, now we have, have heat. Heat in our house. Yes. Which is incredible. Um, it's no longer just two rooms in the house that have heat. It is now the entire house, which is a blessing and a curse. I can't deal with it. It's too warm at times. Dad's yeah. still trying to work out how to work it. Um, it's nice in the mornings for me because it means I don't have to wake up and get out of bed and shiver. <laughs> <laughs> shiver your way into reality. Yeah. Um, but also... I mostly wake up in a sweat now, mm. which isn't as nice. Um, I've been yeah. sleeping with my window open, which is weird in winter. I can't open my window. Yeah. To be fair, it's like quite a mild winter anyway. Sort yeah. of even like now it's sort of dropping down in temperature. It's like eight degrees today. Well, okay, right. Today's an exception, but the last couple of days it's sort of been like down around two, three. Yeah. It's to be like eleven degrees tomorrow, I think, and then it's to get colder again. Yeah. There's talking about the beast from the east coming back. Um. I just noticed I have a big spot in the middle of my forehead. End of January. (laughs) Sorry, yes. I quite like that. I want snow. I want snow as well. Last year me wanted snow too. Yeah. And was really sad that it didn't snow over Christmas. I didn't get a lot of jewellery. I did get a lot of jewellery this year, sorry. And I I never wear jewellery. When you say jewellery, you mean... I got necklaces and rings. A necklace and a ring. Yeah, but still, it's more than (laughs) I get normally. And it just sort of... 
it's kind of like, what? I don't, I don't wear this. I ask for a ring, and I keep have the word. <laughs> yeah, I wore it for like a week, and then I forgot. But it's a nice ring, solid. Do you want water for your throat? You no, could? no, it's just croaky. It's not sore. Or okay. Anything. Um, I woke up with a really dry throat this morning, and it just hasn't gone away. Like I kept on, like I've been sipping water throughout the day. That's how it starts, Chloe. I know it does. That's why I dislike you right now. So yeah, there's plenty of cold and flu medicine downstairs. If there's not. There's I don't... like four left. Oh, okay, well you can have the other packet. I haven't really been taking it much. I just don't want it to get any worse because like I can't be bothered with it. Like I can't be dealing with blowing my nose every five minutes and stuff. Like I, I just sniff it. I haven't been blowing my nose every five minutes. Well, you, you, no, you haven't. To be fair, but still. <laughs> Because I know it really annoys you, but it's... I've No, I know it's necessary, but just nine out of ten times you forget to turn away. And then I just get the whole, like... <laughs> <laughs> like, I can hear it coming out of your nose. And that just kind of... It's just kind of like... No. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, so I And then you can you. smell the mucus at times as well oh. whenever you lift the tissue. Like, that is not nice. <laughs> like, you can smell mine? Yeah. Oh... Because it's warm and then you like lift the tissue down and you have a wee look in it and then it's just like, I can smell it. That's grim. That's not from my nose. That's grim. I think mine mostly smells like chlorine though, so... It just smells like mucus. Does mucus smell like chlorine? No, it smells like, I don't know, mucus. <laughs> like snodders? Yeah. Do snodders have a smell? Yeah. I think it just tastes, tastes <laughs> smells chlorine-y. Tastes salty. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> We're going back to London tomorrow. I'm kind of excited, but I'm not excited for getting up early. Yeah. Because we're doing it. It's like TV yeah. stuff, which is different which is... from being on stage. And me and Chloe know about being TV stuff. And... It's sort of our aim. Yeah. Like on um, stage would be fun, but TV is sort of the goal. Yeah. Um. So me and Chloe will finally, maybe, possibly not be at a disadvantage. <laughs> yeah, we'll actually know what they're talking about. Yeah. Every other time they've sort of been like, yeah, we're going to do this, this and this. And it's like, yes. Okay. Please explain. I mean, in fairness, if that ever happens and we don't have a clue what the, what we're doing and then they're like, why did you not say you didn't understand? I'll just be like, sorry, I don't understand your English accent. I know, because they're constantly saying they can't understand our accent. <laughs> like, and I am can you so speak raging. slower? And I'm like, no, no. <laughs> Excuse me, do you ask James Nesbitt to speak slower? <laughs> Like, she asked him and Holmes to speak slower. Like, I can't remember when it was. Like, well, to be fair, I tend to mutter because I talk quickly and I don't open my mouth enough. Um, but she told me to talk slower and I was like, okay, okay, Judith, you can do this. And I think I got about two lines through my monologue and then I started to speed up. You just have to think of the BBC presenters on TV. Yeah. You just have to start thinking like that. And Unleash just... my inner bar best. I do that all the time. <laughs> I, I almost do it like... Not passive aggressively, but almost like sassily. Yeah. Like if someone's like slow down, I'm like, okay then, I will slow down and I will enunciate every single word I am saying. Am I? Might tell me if I'm talking really loud because my ears are blocked up. No, you're fine. Okay. You're sort of muttering a wee bit, but like, this is. I'm sure people can understand. That's you. okay. If not, it's fine. Just, I was gonna just say, listen to my parts. I was going <laughs> to say subtitles, but um. <laughs> <laughs> Not necessarily the podcast there. Uh, we said that we've been reading more in January. That's and because we got Kindles. Yay! Woo. I've sort of toyed with getting one f for about a year. And then I was going to buy myself one and then mum was like, I'll buy it for you for Christmas. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I think it was mainly because for Christmas all we had really asked for was a couple of DVDs and then like sports stuff. Yeah. We didn't even get that much sports stuff. We ended up having to buy it ourselves. Yeah, but like... I don't know, I never know what to ask for for Christmas. I hadn't even thought to ask for a Kindle for Christmas. I was like, yeah, I'll buy that myself. I know, I sort of thought, mm, that's a bit out of the budget. Yeah. But yeah. So, thank you, thank you, Mummy. Thank you, Mummy. Um, it's really handy, I love it. Yeah. Like, I've always been sort of like, oh, no, um, real life books forever. Yeah. Uh, but actually, Up the no. paper. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, no, Kindle is really, really good. I've not read this much in years i'm getting through maybe like a four or five hundred page book a in day. a day um which is bad because like the books are still you still have to pay for the books like on kindle yeah and i do have the paper versions but like with with my, with our eyesight we have to have lighting conditions almost perfect yeah and in winter that doesn't happen um 
and then you have to stand a certain way you have to have your head a certain way the book mm. has to smell nice mm -hmm. and it just like a kindle you can just recreate that yeah and like, you can turn the brightness up. up you can change the text size you can change the font style as well i didn't know you could do that i, I know you can change the background color and mine is sort of like a parchment, is parchment? Color. yeah because the, the white is too like, bright and then too, the black yeah. is just like ugh i don't know i don't like the black yeah but the parchment like, it's solid nice, nice solid, color yeah um so chloe what books have you been reading on kindle um the cherub series by robert Muchmore. Um, See him. It's a really great series. It is, yeah. It's sort of young adult and it's about spy kids, basically. Yeah. <laughs> but like, not just your standard spy kids. Like they're black belts and judo and karate and everything. And oh, it's class. I like we've read them before, but it's one of those series is that you can literally just pick up and read again and again and again. Yeah, because you always, even though you remember, you think you remember the storyline, you read through and you go, oh yeah, I forgot about this wee bit. Yeah. Like, there's always something that you've forgotten. Like, I genuinely think I could finish the entire, what, 15, 16 book series and then just read it again. Yeah. Like, I don't want to. I want to read something else. Like, I want to branch out a wee bit. <laughs> um, but at the same time, like, if I wanted to, I could. <laughs> yeah. Um, what what date is it today? The 6th. It's 26 days until the Six Nations. <laughs> or is it 27 days? Oh, no, I've forgotten. On the sixth, I, th I thought it was twenty eight. No, um, I put it. I, I put it on Twitter. Hold on. I know you did. <laughs> I retweeted it, but I can't remember what it said. Um, yeah, twenty six days until the Six Nations, oh, on the sixth of January. Just what are we going to look forward to after the Six Nations? Um, Greg James and Chris Smith's book Kid Normal coming out. Then what? Christmas. No, our birthday. <laughs> then Christmas. Okay. No Easter. <laughs> Easter's on the nineteenth of April. Well, it depends. When do you consider Easter? What day do you consider Easter? Because um, the 19th of April is Good Friday. Yeah. So is that when you consider Easter? Mm, yeah. No. I think, well, yeah, that week coming up to it, there's always good films on TV, isn't there? Yeah. And then that Friday, everything's sort of shut, so that's kind of like Christmas. So I would say that that is the main day. But then also Sunday, because then whatever you give up for Lent, you get to have again. Yeah, and also, like, it's called Easter Sunday. It's not called Easter Friday. Well, some people call it Easter Friday, I think. Well, that's Easter week, is it not? Well, yeah, but, like, you don't just say it's Christmas week. Like, every everybody knows that Christmas is the 25th of December. People do call it Christmas week. No, I know, but, like, Christmas is an actual day. Yeah. So Easter has to have an actual day. <laughs> Egg day. <laughs> What was it? It was in Who Wants to Be a Millionaire last night, and Jeremy, the woman was like, I'm, uh, what was she? She was like, a, Oh, she was an RE teacher and a history teacher or something. And Jeremy was like, Oh, oh so you're, you're, an enth you're an enthusiast of the baby Jesus. <laughs> and I was like, Me too. I'm an enthusiast of the baby Jesus. But you can be an RE teacher and, like, not believe any of that stuff. You could just be like, Yeah, I just know about it. Don't believe any of it, but I, I know mean, about yeah, it. Yeah, that's true. Um, could be my... like, you could be like an RE, like a religious person teaching physics and be like, yeah, okay, so this is all about the Big Bang. God created it all. There is no Big Bang. <laughs> like, <laughs> I believe both. <laughs> like, you could just be like, this is in the syllabus, so you have to learn it. I don't believe it, but you have to learn it. <laughs> I was going to say one of our... RE... Man did not land in the moon, okay? That's but concerned. in this book... It says it was Neil Armstrong. <laughs> One of our RE teachers, I don't think, was very, um... She wasn't very much like Jesus. <laughs> she, hated, were... she hated specific people. Yeah, like specific groups of people. It was kind of like, okay, uh... Love your neighbour. <laughs> Turn the other cheek. No, okay, that's grand. Bye. It's grand there, Anne. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Anyway, that's uh, neither here nor there. Why do we always talk about school? <laughs> it's just one of those things. It's like we can't walk, talk about um, um, um. We can't get through a podcast without talking about pee. I mean, we've, we've managed, managed so, so far. far. Apart from that, we mentioned, but I mean, that's just. Well, we talked about going to the toilet and gliding over. But, um, oh yeah, true. Please. Um, I have a game. Oh, well, like it's games. a game that pretty much every podcast does nowadays. It's okay. the Google search one. Okay, so are you gonna do? It? Yeah, I've I've searched a thing and I've oh, okay. typed out the the first the top seven answers. Okay, but you just have to get three or four. Okay, so three or, three or four, which one? Three or four, whatever. Like okay, just 
as many as you can get basically okay. until I get bored. Um, <laughs> okay. So the start of the, the start of the Google search is what would happen if I went into space? No. I ate a whole chili pepper. No, but I mean it depends on the strength of the chili pepper. True. Um, hold let's on. What if, would happen if? Let's let's go with um. What would happen if there was a volcanic eruption? No, but there's one similar to an that. earthquake. No. Uh, what would happen if there was a what do you call it whenever the sun farts? <laughs> <laughs> a giant um. Oh, what's it called? And like there's solar radiation and stuff. Solar flare. What yeah, what would happen flare. if there was a giant solar flare that hit Earth? No, but I mean, it depends. I think, again, it depends on the size of it. Well, I said a giant solar okay, flare. Well, we'd probably get some gnarly aurora borealis. <laughs> would we die though? I mean, it could destroy the ozone layer and it would probably just mess up the Earth's heat. Could one of those solar flares take out the moon? I don't know, but you're talking about the moon. That's yeah. sort of close to one of the things. Uh, what would happen if the moon fell onto the earth? No. What would happen if the moon moved? No. What would happen if the moon... What would happen if there... If there were two moons? No. If there was no moon? Yeah. Did you search the answer for that? No. Because I'm quite intrigued. Um, so like right next to that one was... I would put it at the same one. That what if there was no moon or what if there was no sun? I said what if there was no moon? Yeah, no. <laughs> Oh yeah, that was the one. <laughs> <laughs> I just got told that I got that one right. Anyway, so what if there was no wind? What if there was no sun? Well, obviously, if there was no sun, we'd just go into like an ice age. But what if there was no sun to begin with? Then Would we still? I don't think so, because just like even like nuclear flu- fusion and stuff that needs like heat. I suppose like the things are colliding together, but I mean still. I don't think it would work because a sun's a star. Yeah. A giant star. So maybe we'd have a different sun, but we wouldn't call it the sun. Oh, look, there's Bob. (laughs) Bob. (laughs) Bob lights us during the day and Steve lights us during the night. I really hope that's a thing on a planet somewhere. (laughs) (laughs) What are you talking about? That's the sun and the moon. Does someone call my name? (laughs) Why do we have the sun, right? And then you have... Like, you have the sun and the moon, then you have sun and daughter. I think it should be... <laughs> sun and this moon is, and this is my sun. This, this is my, my son, moon. Charles. And this is my moon, Sarah. <laughs> but spell it. But it's spelled different. <laughs> no, but... So you have S-U-N and then S-O-N, right? Uh-huh. And then you have M-O-O-N. And you M-U-N. have M-U-N. M-U-N. <laughs> my moon. <laughs> Do I have to guess some more? Are we all yeah, right? Yeah. Um, what if there was no atmosphere? What oh. if there was no ozone there? Yeah, that's one. That is number three. Um, We'd burn, would we not? No, I don't know. Would we burn or would we freeze? Freeze, probably. It could be both because the ozone layer keeps heat in, but it also... It stops radiation, so we'd be radiated to death. Yeah. And we'd probably all be sucked out into space. I mean, there's already, like, a hole in the ozone layer. No, because gravity's keeping us, like, on the ground. True. Did the ozone layer hole not, like, start to heal itself? They're saying it's starting to, but, like... It'll take a while. Yeah. Yeah. It's like someone ripping a hole in a blanket and then your ma trying to sew it up. Like, it's going to take maybe three, like, five or ten times longer than it is. That's true. That's a good way of looking at it. Um, what What would happen... If, what, what, what was the thing? Right, so what would happen if? What would happen if we drank all the water on Earth? No. What would happen if? Is it? Am I thinking big scale or small scale here? Uh, we'll go with, yeah, they're pretty much all sort of like global, global. type things. What would happen if there was a massive tsunami? No. Is there anything about natural disasters in there? Um. What would happen if there was a nuclear war? Um, there's, there's, hold on, right. First of all, that's wrong. But yes, there's one about a natural disaster. What's it? Just tell me, I think I've guessed. What if an asteroid hit Earth? Ah, I was close with solar flares. Yeah, that's why I said you were close. Oh. So Um, what are the other ones? What was the top one? The top one was, what if there was no sun or moon? Oh. The second one was, what if there were no bees or if all the bees died? Oh, okay. 
that's sort of a big problem in that. Yeah. It's just like the bee movie. All the flowers would just die. Um, what if there was no ozone layer? What if there was no gravity? I mean, like, you jump and you just never land. <laughs> you just go and you just float around. Um, number five is, what if a man took the pill? <laughs> I don't think anything. Some, some guy did it by accident and now he's panicking. <laughs> <laughs> Crap, what do I do? Um, number six is what if an asteroid hit Earth? And number seven, what would happen if the world went vegan? Okay, the vegans have been on. <laughs> but yeah, like, I don't know. I don't think I could go vegan. Why? I don't know, I just like meat too much. Fair enough. Like, I could maybe like cut out meat, but I mean, I'd have to have my eggs and my milk. Yeah. Plus, we're farmers' daughters. And our uncles are farmers, and they need their wages. Like, what would they do if no one ate cows or yeah? Like, I think it eggs. depends on the way they're farmed, really. Like, it's just one of those things. Like, just be nice to animals. Yeah. Whenever you're milking them and stealing their give eggs. them give them wee names. And I mean, eggs isn't too bad because like like provided you're not like cooping them up like where they're like, yeah they're gonna plop them out anyway. Yeah, it's just if they get fer fertilized then. Like, you can't, you, like, that's like eating a baby chicken. But, like, chickens just plop them out. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's literally just a waste. Just like, oh, look, there's an egg. Oh, but I'm vegan. I can't eat it. Like, not just, yeah. You're, like, waste not, want not, and all that. Starving kids in Africa. <laughs> yeah. You can't post them an egg. <laughs> but I'm going to try and post someone an egg. You can, can you not, is it not a thing that in America that you can post potatoes? Yeah, potatoes and aubergines and stuff. That's right. Why though? It's like one of those things like get people the gift of nothing and it's just like an empty packet, like a packet. Yeah. And like it explains, like, oh, you can get, you can also buy people rocks and stuff like that. It's just like, why? A pet rock? <laughs> like, I can make one of those. Do you was the thing? Um, it was a craft kit for kids and it was decorate decorate a rock and you got a rock in it and I was kind of like, where are these kids living that they can't <laughs> find a rock to paint? I used to do that at Granny's house. We used to go outside and find all the wee white, white stones and, and then paint, paint them. them. But it was just... I used to put them around the house as wee decorations. A craft kit for painting rocks. I was like... I, I mean, to be fair, it did have some gnarly, like, fluorescent colour paint. Like. <laughs> True. But there was a wee booklet to show you what to do. I was kind of like... How hard can it be? Here's a rock. Or you can go outside and find a rock. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, truth of kit can be reused like, multiple you can think times, about it in like a morbid way and just be like, kids who are locked in a cellar all their life. <laughs> this is a rock, kids. Daddy had to go out and pay millions of pounds for this. <laughs> Two for a tenner. <laughs> oh, I kind of looked at it and I was like, who would actually buy that though? Um... But now we've sort of ascended down the route of the Fritzl family. So it's just kind of weird. Oh, well. um, do you have anything else to add, or will we go to listeners' his, questions? His kids didn't get out of that. Would you just <laughs> listeners' questions? <laughs> you shouldn't laugh about that either. Sorry. We're really sorry. That was very distasteful. Joke. I got a couple of um, Snapchat questions, but they were just sort of we've already answered them. Just do you have any New Year's resolutions? What's the best Christmas film? Which we, well, I suppose we didn't answer what's the best Christmas film. I think we did I, it in another podcast. Yeah, I don't necessarily have. You have a top four here. written here. No, that was just what ones I wanted to watch for uh, the Christmas period. Home Alone, Muppets Christmas Carol, Polar Express, Elf and Miracle on 34th Street. I watched two out of those, two and a half out of those. I oh, watched I Elf and the Polar Express and half of Home Alone. Yeah, yeah, same. Uh, the Miracle on 34th Street, which one? The new one, yeah. like the, or like the, the more recent one. Yeah. I don't like the black and white one, it's just kind of... It's too, it's not old, like it's it's a nice film, but just I prefer the storyline and like the character, like the actors and stuff yeah. and the new one. I'm the same. Uh, Les Fisher, big fan, um, top lad. Windmill. Yeah, big, big fan. fan. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, he said, what is the difference between a duck? Um, like duck and duck or? Just what is the difference between a duck? Between a duck. I mean, I suppose between the duck's legs is a difference. Between the duck's eyes is a difference. Between the duck's beak is a difference. I was going to say it's all in the bill. Yeah. That's going to be my answer. Unless it's shouting the word duck, in which case it sort of, it depends what way you say it. What do you mean? 
Like you could be like, duck, as in, there's a duck. Or, duck, as in, duck, because there's a frisbee coming out your head. Or, duck, as in, I don't really care about you, but you should probably move your head. Or, duck, and that's you saying hello to your friend who's called duck. Yeah. Or you could be like, duck, as you forget to duck, and, yeah. Yeah. I think ducks are pretty cool. I mean, there's lots of differences in the word duck to duck, if you think about it, you know? Yeah. There's lots of differences between a duck. And duck. Hopefully that answered your question, Liz. Uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for uh, giving us a question. We should try real hard to try and answer that. Yeah. I think I think that was a good, solid answer. Yeah. I think... Wait, whose answer was a solid answer? Mine. Um, oh, thanks. No combined. Uh, I think we got 10 marks, um, plus that extra one for quality written, of written, written communication. communication. <laughs> do um, they have that in England? England, or like other countries, do you have like wee essay questions and then you get like an extra mark for quality of written communication? Basically speak in English. Maybe they and don't. exams and stuff. Maybe they don't because they speak English. Maybe just it's just in Northern Ireland because people will be like, the water goes wild white whenever you add it to it. <laughs> right enough. <laughs> Maybe they have it in Scotland. <laughs> or is, that, is it carbon dioxide makes lime water turn cloudy? Oh, I've not got a clue. I was rubbish at chemistry. Carbon dioxide makes lime water. Water? W-A-Y-T-E-R. <laughs> Turn wild cloudy, so it does. Do you it? Does. Hydrogen makes a little splint pop. Pop. <laughs> pop. For, for anyone who's not from Derry. Um... My, well, I sent out a Snapchat and uh, the only response I got was just Auntie telling me that she loved me, so I have a friend. I want to meet up with more people in 2019. Yeah. That's the thing. But like people that I know, not just random people, just being like, you do a podcast, don't you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't handle fame well. <laughs> I like to think I do, but I, in reality, I don't. I just sort of shy away and just go, I'm never doing a podcast again. <laughs> I think if, if someone came up and was like, oh yeah, I listened to your podcast, I'll be like, I'm going to mention this in the podcast. <laughs> like, it would 100% be like the top topic, like, guys, I freaked out, I don't know what to say. <laughs> I'm sorry for just looking at you in a state of panic. <laughs> Tweet me all you want, but if you want to say it in real life, just take a picture from a distance and be like, hey, I was going to say hi, but I thought I'd freak you out. Thanks, you would have. <laughs> Oh, maybe that would be even creepier. Yeah. Watching from afar. That's what I tend to do in fairness. <laughs> but I didn't take pictures. You can't watch from very far. Oh, that was a plain joke. You didn't see that one come on. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't. I don't know what that was. <laughs> it was... <laughs> I've been doing a while around, like, weird voices just all weekend. Yeah. Like whenever we were doing, we were doing like we were counting down times on the on the bikes on the turbos, and I was just like, "What was the voice I was even doing?" Three. Don't know. It wasn't even that one. A three, a two, <laughs> one. Yeah, it was that one. It's like a like a Texas person trying to go toilet. <laughs> a constipated Texan. <laughs> <laughs> Can that be the title of this week's podcast? It can, yes. <laughs> um. I don't know, I think, is that, that's pretty much everything, isn't it? Yeah. I think another thing that I wanted to do was try and make these podcasts sort of, like, weekly. Or, like, more regular. Yeah. Or at least more regular, because I know that, like, coming up to Christmas, it was, like, every three weeks, and then there was, like, a wee random one thrown in there, and then we were, like... We felt bad. <laughs> and then we were, like, yeah, we'll do one next week, and then we didn't, and then we threw an extra wee one in there, and it just didn't work out, so... Yeah, hopefully we'll get these. Like in fairness, Christmas regular. time is a bit sort of everything sort of gets mixed around. You yeah. don't know what day it is. You don't know where you are. Yeah, true, um, true. That's my excuse anyway. We also haven't been posting much on social media, but I was sort of intending to get back to that this week. Because um, everything sort of starts again this week. Like school, well, some schools have started like last week. Some schools started on like the 2nd of January, which is like lousy. awful. But sure at the same that time... Means, surely that means then the teachers were in on the 1st because the teachers have to go on the day before to sort of prep stuff and... Maybe, unless they just, teachers stayed behind on the half day of school oh, before maybe, Christmas. Maybe. That's what I'd have done. I think it would be, I would prefer to stay late than go in early, if that makes sense. Yeah. That would definitely be my preference. But anyway, 
um, we'll get back to posting and stuff. Um, feel free to get in contact if you like comment on posts on Facebook or Twitter. Um, to even just to say, oh yeah, I love this video, or can you do more videos like this? Like that. Yeah, is, tell us what kind of videos you want. That is very much appreciated. Um, so yeah, you can find us on Facebook. Just search for Skit Twins. Uh, Twitter Skit underscore Twins or Skit under slash Twins. Uh, Instagram. It's skit underscore twins as well. Or skit under slash twins. Search for skit twins on Facebook or on YouTube and you'll be able to find us. Um, but the links are on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram anyway. Um, SoundCloud, iTunes, where do you find this? The Skit Twins podcast. And you can also email us on skit.twins at gmail.com. And just in case you don't know how to spell skit twins, it's S-K-I-T-T-W-I-N-S. Yep, that's... But yeah, please do get in touch. Uh, let us know that you listen to the podcast. Give it a like, a share, a review, a rating, whatever. Um, it makes a lot of difference to us. It makes it makes a, a, a difference to me. Um, I like it whenever people um, even just send a tweet to say like, oh, thanks for your videos. It's given me a laugh. Um, yeah like i know that like we, we were saying that we don't like people sort of like coming up and talking to us and stuff but we've had a couple of people come up and sort of say that they listen to the podcast and that they like it and they've seen seen videos and stuff yeah um and we we genuinely do appreciate that like we're, we're carrying on really like we like we, we I think do we kind just, of freeze we get, up we get embarrassed and sort of oh thank you thank, thanks Quite but like we, but... we're we're really grateful for it like we we appreciate that you appreciate it yeah um, so yeah, let us know whenever you watch the videos and listen to stuff and um, just send us tweets. Like, we're not super busy. It's not like we're inundated with tweets. We will reply to you. We will like it. We will retweet it. You can feel popular and we can feel popular. Um, <laughs> it, I get a buzz whenever I get a tweet, okay? Whenever true, I get a mention true. or a like or a retweet. Um, so yeah, if you tweet us, we'll give you a like, a retweet and a reply. Yeah. So. Unless it's something bad, in which case we might not necessarily retweet it, but we'll, I mean, we'll probably slate you. Yeah, we'll quote tweet it and make some sort of joke. Because <laughs> that's how we deal with any kind of criticism or like <laughs> any kind of negativity, we just make a joke of it. It's all good, it's all good. Um, but yeah, so uh, Skit Twins, everything's in the link below this Or should be, podcast. unless I forget something, in which case pull me up on it. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for listening and we will be back soon. Yep. Uh, let us know if you want this to be weekly or if bi-weekly every two weeks is is doing okay for you. Is bi-weekly not like twice in one week? Oh yeah, I think you're right. Oh, maybe that's twice weekly. <laughs> oh, I don't, <laughs> don't have a clue. Do you want it every week or every two weeks? Fortnightly. Fortnightly. It's every 15 days though. What's Fortnite? Is a Fortnite Fortnite like a beggar's For, dozen? Fortnite's a game. <laughs> so where you floss. I can't even let's not even go into that. Anyway, take care. Be good. Make, Make good, good choices. choices. Bye. Bye.